Today, let's talk about one of the biggest security stories of the year, React2 Shell. React2 Shell is a critical, unauthenticated remote code execution vulnerability that's already causing chaos in the wild. We're going to talk about what this vulnerability is and its impact, and after that, I'll show you how you can practice exploiting it in a safe environment on Hack the Box. React2 Shell refers to CVE 2025-55182, which is a critical vulnerability found in React server components, or the server-side part of the hugely popular React framework, used in many web apps and frameworks like Next.js. This bug is an unauthenticated remote code execution vulnerability with a CVSS score of 10, which is the max severity you can get. This means that an attacker doesn't need any credentials and only needs to send a crafted HTTP request to a vulnerable server to let them run arbitrary code against that server, resulting in a full system compromise. So how does this vulnerability and exploit actually work? Well, it comes down to unsafe deserialization in the React Server Components flight protocol. The flight protocol is how the server sends the rendered output and instructions for server components to the client's browser. When the server receives a specially crafted component payload, it fails to validate it properly. This lets attackers slip in data that the server mistakenly executes as code without the need for any authentication. This vulnerability affects a long list of packages and frameworks that implements React Server Components. Some of these packages include React Server DOM Webpack, React Server DOM Parcel, and React Server DOM Turbo Pack, as well as Next.js. The default configurations of these packages are vulnerable, meaning many real-world apps are exposed to this vulnerability right now. And React2 Shell isn't just theoretical. Many attackers are already using it. Within hours of the public disclosure on December 3rd, multiple state-linked groups and opportunistic hackers started scanning and exploiting it globally. Groups like Earth Lamia and Jackpot Panda were observed rapidly weaponizing this flaw, targeting a wide range of sectors. After exploitation, these attackers have been seen dropping crypto miners, backdoors and tunnels, and some campaigns are still ongoing. Analysis shows Linux malware families including PeerBlight and CowTunnel are being installed post-exploit. Also, the impact is quite massive. React and Next.js are among the most popular web frameworks, used in millions of applications worldwide. That means a massive attack surface. Many organizations still have web apps that are unpatched and exposed, despite patches being available shortly after disclosure. Network defenders are scrambling to deploy web application firewall rules and monitor logs for exploit patterns, but patching is the only true fix for this vulnerability. React2 Shell got inspiration for its name from the infamous Log4 Shell back in 2021, which was another critical remote code execution flaw that affected Apache Log4j and gave attackers remote code execution in countless Java applications, including Minecraft servers. CVE 2021-44228 caused months of fallout, long-lasting exploitation campaigns, and major industry disruption. And if you were an IT professional when that vulnerability made the news, it was not a fun time for you. If your organization uses the React Server Components or Next.js in its web apps, make sure to patch to these remediated versions immediately. With all of that vulnerability talk out of the way, let me show you how you can practice exploiting the React2 shell vulnerability on Hack the Box by doing the React Oops web challenge. So here we are on the challenges side of Hack the Box Labs. At the top, we can search for React Oops to find the web challenge. And this challenge involves us spawning a web server as well as downloading the source code for that web server so we can determine what vulnerabilities exist in the web server and how to exploit it. So let's go ahead and spawn the challenge and download the zip file to your hacking machine. So this is what the web application looks like. It is for a personal AI assistant called Nexus AI and you can try to interact with this website in any way you can but there really isn't any dynamic content on this web app. And you'll be able to see this by downloading the source code when you unzip the zip file. So let's go ahead and open that up. So here's the layout of the entire unzip zip file, which is the source code of the application. You can look through the layout TypeScript and the page TypeScript, and you'll notice that there isn't any content that we can interact with dynamically. It is a static web page. But if we go down to this package.json file, we'll see that the name is called react to shell and it's using a next.js dependency of 16.0.6. And if we were to go to any vulnerability database that's tracking this vulnerability, we would see that the fixed version for Next.js is 16.0.7 for React2 Shell. So we know that this web application is vulnerable. And since this vulnerability is so impactful and such a high risk, you already know that there's many proof of concepts available on GitHub, including this React2 Shell ultimate one that I found here. So this is a simple Python script that exploits the flight protocol and we can use it to get a shell on the Hack the Box web application by using dash u to specify the URL of the web app and dash dash shell to get an interactive shell on the box. With React2 Shell Ultimate downloaded, we can specify python3 react shellpy to list all of its options. And here we see that the tool can perform safe scans, do an RCE proof of concept, scan multiple targets from a file, attempt web application firewall bypasses. But what we want for this box is down here, which is the python3 react shell god mode where we specify dash dash god for this god mode flag, the URL of our target, and then dash dash shell to get an interactive shell. And after hitting enter, we see that the connection was established. We get a message saying that the target is exploitable. We are the root user, and now we can list any commands on the server that we want. So let's try going back a directory and listing its contents. 
it looks like our change directory command is not sticking. So instead we can do an ls dot dot slash to list the parent directory of the one we're currently in. It doesn't look like we have a flag yet. So we can do an ls dot dot slash dot dot slash to go back two directories. And we see our flag is right there. And we would know that the flag is there as well if we were to look at how this source code is structured. We would see that our flag is in the same directory as where the app is. So going back one directory puts us in the app folder and going back two directories puts us in that challenge folder where the app directory is as well as flag.txt. So we can cat out that flag by going back two directories and then flag.txt and you've just exploited React 2 Shell. Thanks for watching this quick video on React 2 Shell and how to safely exploit it. If you found this video useful, please leave a like and subscribe for more security content like this. Leave a comment down below if you have any content suggestions and join my Discord if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.